Well, we get to repair another vent tractor. This time it's the hydraulic system. And uh, what's happening is, is when you uh, actuate the hydraulics, there's one button you push and it actuates all the hydraulics, makes them live. It goes in lockout. So uh, we've got a problem there. So we have a, a pressure issue or something going on. And I've already kind of looked into it, so I already know ahead of what's kind of going on. And uh, what happens is there's, a, there's a, a valve stack in here, and there's a pilot valve um, on the bottom of the valve stack, and it has to maintain at least 20 bar of pressure, or roughly 300 pounds of pressure, to um, keep all the hydraulic valves actuated. If it drops below 20 bar, it goes in and locks out your hydraulics and you can't use any of your hydraulics. Okay, so here's the valve stack right here. There's the top. It goes down all the way down. And then down here at the bottom is the one that we're concerned about. Right back in here is where the test port is. I've got a fitting on there already. The camera doesn't really want to focus. Right here, there's a fitting right there. That's where our test port is. And that's going to be like, a, what is it, a 12 millimeter, this is a plug that goes in there, 12 millimeter by one thread. So you're going to hook your, the, uh, um, our pressure uh, gauge up to there. And on here, when I uh, actuated it, uh, it dropped down to 15 pounds, 15 bar. And uh, so what is happening, this right here, this round cylinder, is an accumulator. So basically that works as a bladder. As um, the tractor starts, that fills with um, pressure. And then when there's a, a hydraulic remote that gets actuated, there does it loses just a boost of pressure below that 20. Well, that, that accumulator keeps that above 20 bars so you don't have that fluctuation so it won't lock it out. Well, that was bad, so I replaced that, and uh, so now uh, when you actuate a hydraulic, a hydraulic remote, it'll it doesn't drop below 20 bar. It stays right at 23 bar on this tractor is where that where that's at. So then the second problem I had was it was uh, not actuating right, so I ended up actually had a uh, bad connector. After I messed with this, um, there was a there was excessive amount of oil in the connector, so I had to clean that up a little bit. And uh, now we've seen to be running just fine on that. One of the hard parts about testing that was making sure it wasn't um, electrical or anything else, other or maybe even that solenoid that actuates that valve. And um, you can't just unplug that and put a test light on it and seeing if you have power in there because the, the computer can tell if that's hooked up to that solenoid or not. So um, that's where you need, really need to put that pressure gauge on there and see if you have any activation going on. Um, before I had that, I had just a little bit. There was a little bit of juice going through and activating that, that solenoid because my, my pressure would come, up, would come off the, the bottom just a little bit. So I knew that I had power going there and I could test. You can put a jumper wire inside there and test that same way, but that has to be plugged up to that coil or else that computer knows the difference. So anyway, I'm gonna take the, uh, that adapter out, put this plug back in and uh, put it back together and get back to the field.